Hey guys! It's been a while, so I thought I'd make a wrap up for you. I know June is not over yet, but I'm leaving later today to visit family, and I just didn't want to leave you hanging for another week or two. So, this is my May and June wrap up. So, in May, I only read one full book, uh, which is so weird. And um, not that much, but I read a very good book uh, called Annabelle by Kathleen Winter. This is a Canadian novel, um, very specific, detailed, and lovely language. I loved her writing style. I would love to read more by Winter. Uh, definitely recommend this. Very emotional story about growing up and kind of getting to know yourself and your body and deciding who you want to be uh, and just um, both yourself but also dealing with everything around you like society and other people and that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, definitely recommend this. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, quite emotional though. So be aware. So that's kind of the only thing I read in uh, May, <laughs> but yeah. Um, in June I read another kind of big book called Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood. I returned it now, I read it in Swedish, it was about maybe 600 pages, 500 something, and it was so good about this old woman in her 50s looking back on her childhood and why kind of she ended up where she is now. Uh, this is also a Canadian novel. She goes back to Toronto uh, to do a art show with her old work and she's like this feminist artist sort of and you get to know her background story and it's very complex and deep and emotional. I really love this book. Like, there's a lot of chapters with different parts in them, or parts with different chapters in them, and every uh, first chapter is about her life now, and the rest is about her childhood and then teenage years and growing up and on and on and on. But it's really good if you like reading about kind of development and uh, history, family history, or a person's life, sort of. This is an amazing book, and I also loved her writing style, her language. I'd love to read something more like that. I got really sucked into it. It was kind of big, and I don't really read big books, but I love this one. <clears throat> Definitely kind of got me out of my reading funk. I don't know. So, I <laughs> read something quite exciting this uh, month. My library got these babies on my request and I just had to read them due to all hype and I was like this is weird. I started of course with volume one of Saga and it's just weird and I didn't really think I'd love it as much as I did. I really did love this. It was hilarious. Seriously hilarious. Uh, the story is just like any other, I guess, only this is sci-fi and I don't really read sci-fi, but there's just the artwork in here is amazing. Um, I can't, the artwork and the humor did it for me. I don't really... the story in itself is... yeah, whatever. Uh, it's interesting, of course, but yeah, the artwork... I'm trying to find this really amazing picture here that I want to show you. Oh my gosh! Isn't he hot? He's freaking hot and I love that cat. So beautiful. I gave this five stars and these two both four stars. Um, very exciting 
graphic novel series. I can't wait to read more of these. So for the rest of the month, I'm gonna continue reading two Swedish books that I've been reading a bit last month. Uh, Amanda Svensson, Välkommen till den här världen, and Lena Andersson, Egenmäktiges förfarande, en roman om kärlek. This these are both love stories, sort of. This is more teenage y and this is more adult ish. Um, quite small, but supposedly very good. I read quite a bit in this, and I am loving it. Her language is very sassy and honest and straightforward, and I'm loving it. So I'm gonna bring these home with me to read and. I will probably do a July TBR when I get back. I'm not sure yet what I want to read. Maybe some Charlie Jackson. Um, maybe something like that. So that was it. Um, tell me what you're reading, uh, what you're doing, uh, if you have any plans this summer. Uh, I'd love to know, I'd love to talk to you guys, I've been watching your videos even though I haven't made my own, uh, I'm still here, I just, I've been very lazy and had guests and stuff, so yeah, talk to you soon, bye!